All right, let's see what the man has to say. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table. I got an achievement called the chains, by the way. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pulling in his corners. He places the neck carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding re recompense as well. Once more, he opens a book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads out loud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot. Knees on the verge of buckling. Building a luck. Atrophy. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? We're good. We're good. Uh, I figured that'd be Devil's Spine. All right. Let's go through here and let's try out our new power. Any fish in your sights? Long range. Wait, what if I go like this? Uh. Wow, that it says long range. Um. Yeah, that was that was not very long range at all. Those 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 short range. Wait, what? Oh, there's tornadoes here now. Okay. All right, let's do it. Is this thing going to rot before I get a chance to sell it? And what's the, I wonder what the cool... Oh, I can see the cooldown. That's a long cooldown. It's like once a day type of ability. Wait, is this... Oh, it's a swordfish. I don't know. I, I, I hate... An oh, my God. I forgot to repair my ship again. Oh no. Perfect. Something behind me. There was something behind me. I'm glad I haven't lost my um, engines. Something slithers into your cargo hold. Well, time to get rid of that because we're not getting to a place fast enough. Once I get over here, hopefully it'll tell me what all the dots are on the map, because I need to know where the pontoon is. Also, I probably need to buy volcanic fishing. It would probably be smart. What's this? Oh, that's volcanic. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day. A fresh disciple carried me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Uh, sure. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. I'm listening. The trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Ha <laughs> ha. I seek sadness. Liar. Nobody seeks sadness. You seek pity, and your flesh. Truly, you seek pity. Oh, my God. That's funny. And your flesh. What does it crave? Um, the sting of the salt. I want to be a, a salty, angry gamer. Pain is the trick of the flesh. Do not surrender it. Finally, what does the world deserve? Nothing. We'll do everything. No way. It deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more than that. It's the trial to conclude. You still have much to learn, but the knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as the herald of the purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. Okay. Statues. Look at the left one. All right. This is where we put them when we're done. All right. Uh, stone columns. Uh, which carving? I don't know. Look at this. Do not let them grip you. But burn them away. Oh, it's telling me how to... Do I have to bring them over a geyser? Oh, my God. That's what it is. Small fish surrounding a boat. A storm of small fish. Okay, small fish, I gotta burn them. The large eyeless beast. Blind, but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. Okay. The carving shows a bubbling underwater vent. The beneath... Okay. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. Okay. That, I feel like those are hints, but... I think I'm just too dumb, and it kind of went over my head. And I really, really gotta sell these things and repair... Uh, if there's not a pontoon here, things are going to get real awkward because um, 
I, I'm gonna pick these up in case there's research parts here, and I'm gonna rest until daytime. But, um, yeah, if there's not a pontoon here. This is awkward because I kept forgetting to repair my ship, and also I need volcanic fishing, and I can't do that without a shipwright. Like even if I research it, I, I have to have a shipwright. Okay, well, I just immediately drop all those. And then I'll find a quest where it'll be like, oh, you need cloth. I'll be like, oh, okay. I don't even care about jewelry anymore. I don't, you know, I don't even, I don't even care about the research parts either. Only if we decide we actually need them. Oh my god, oh, of course. Okay, good, there's a pontoon. This is exactly what we need. All right, fish market. Let's get rid of this thing. Oh, this one rotted. Oh my god, it's been that long. I feel like it hadn't been that long though. All right, shipyard, repair all, and then research. We need to put two. Thank God we have enough parts. All right, put two into that. Shipyard. Uh oh, she sells mixed bait now. All right, so then um. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, we're never gonna. We're never gonna go back to the mangrove place unless it makes us do it. Someone's gonna sell it. I have enough money. I can just buy it back if we need to. Oh, whoops. Yo. Oh wait. What? That was weird. All right. And now we just need a rest. And let's explore and figure this place out. Kind of excited. What is this? Okay, wait, wait. Oh, here we go again with these. Oh, this is so difficult. The boat's so slidey. Almost like it's a boat. Yeah, I don't. I really don't care about treasure, unless that is what I'm supposed to pick up. I better. I better. I'll pick it up just to be safe because it's right near the objective. Oh wait, I need a ton of explosives, don't I? Just to be safe. Let's grab the explosives ahead of time. Let's go back. Um, I'll at least take one for, for now, and then we'll go to not there. Um, storage. Oh my god, I'm almost out. Um, whatever. If I need more, I'll come back. But if I find that I need to use one, I'll come back immediately and save load. I just want to avoid saving and loading. Just, just, I, there's no real reason why. I just, you know. Stone Shrine. Okay, we have to bring certain fish. Oh my god, we. Oh. No way. Do we actually have to do crabs? Oh god, we have to do the crabs. But maybe we can just fish them. Maybe we can just fish them normally. Let's just catch every volcanic fish we see. Another one over there. Can we catch these or are these going to kill me? Those are going to kill me. Oh god. Oh, I saw something I can destroy. This is some tough navigation. This is actually getting difficult, especially with how fast my boat is. The speed of my boat is kind of backfiring right now. I'm glad I read that thing about burning the one fish. Because that's what leads the big one to me, is the little ones, I think. And instead, it would have been if I didn't have Banish, I'd be in trouble. That's plenty of the right angle, guys. Um, I'm just going to keep going this way. I'm going around and around, looking for things. Ah, dang it.
I think I might just use my banish here. Leave. Uh, banish. Didn't even work, did it? Oh, it did. I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this up because maybe this will be um will have research parts since it was guarded by those guys. So far, it has the right amount of total mats. Like usually, the research part ones are three drops, but not always. Well, yes, that's a situation of not always. Oh, that's. I don't even care about the jewelry. Oh my god, they're already back. Are they following? Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here. What are these? Oh, these are abyssal. That is... Oh my god, that is a big fish. I'm not going to use my explosive. because That just goes back to where I was, I think. I, mean, I, was, I remember seeing that from the other side. I think that's just the same thing. Um, okay, I better go to these shrines fast before these fish rot. In case that big one is one that I need. I caught one of these. Guess not. There. There it is. Oh my god! I can either break my way through. I, I, I'll just. I'm just gonna break my way through. Yeah, we're gonna need more explosives. I can just feel it. Okay, he wants this one, that one. Oh, and then we get, all right. And the Fathomless Flame. I'll take these, but I'll actually, even though they're they're the crazy metal, I'll probably just throw them away. Oh my God, I got attacked. All right, let's see. The next one's over on the next island. Real fast, let's catch one of these bad boys. That was a big fish. I wanted to see what that was. Oh, what? That's not... Okay, that's the same thing. I don't know how I didn't aggro those little guys just now. Alright, please tell me I have the fish. Two malformed fish right under sun. Dang it, I don't have any malformed fish. This looks like it has some though. Hurry up. Uh, why am I even dealing with this? I was about to banish him, but he just left. Why are they not dying to the thing? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Banish. That's what we were after. We'll find another one. Yeah, we're gonna have we're actually gonna have to do crab fishing, unfortunately.
Like, I'm pretty sure I would have found a crab by now if I was going to find one. Mm. I have to be careful not to sell the one. It was worth 175. That's barely worth the demand. Those one fish are still just the best fish in the game. For the shipyard. Oh, these are worth. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll sell it. Let's go to storage. Sell that one and that and that and that and that. They're worth like nothing. And that. That's oh and that. All right, that's good. Um, so now we're gonna rest for just a moment here. We can go out at night and then try to catch literally anything. Darn it. Whoa. I've never seen a yellow one for that before. <coughs> but it's not a mutant one. God, I can't see anything. I better go turn in the one mutant one that I do have, though, at least. This is going to be really hard to do at night. I wonder if it matters if it's infected. Oh god. I'm dead. Oh no. I didn't realize what these guys do. Ba Thankfully Banish is almost off cooldown. If that big guy was around, I'd be dead. Okay. Hopefully we'll take an infected one. It will. What's this? Encrusted talisman. Fishing speed plus 330%. Wow. Wait, I have to install it? The storage. Did it do it? Well, one way to find out. All right, so now we are reluctantly going to have to go crab fishing, I think. All right, let's just get it over with. We have enough money, we can buy like infinite crab traps. And by infinite, I mean we can buy a few. Okay. Storage. Oh, wait, I should probably sell before these things rot. Okay, we don't need that. And then we need. Yeah, for now, we'll take some basic ones. But we may have to research better ones. What do we have in our pots? Two per day, but last longer and is better. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get one just so she'll have more for sale, I think. Oh, wow. I just read her fresh and she'll... Okay. All I got to do is this. Oh, no. Never mind. That triggered a reset. Um, let me save and quit so I can get another batch. And we'll place them all down. All right, so a fish market, one more. Also, I got to see, did it actually go to my storage? It did. All right, that's cool. That's kind of cool. 300% fishing speed. I like that the last second the game just throws you with all these, that throws all these like eat methods at you to just like farm. All right, crab pot. All right, there we go. 
Now all we gotta do is wait and then pick him up. I guess this actually won't be so bad if these can catch them. So we'll wait until it's almost nighttime and then we'll go and grab them all and then we'll wait till daytime. Oh, good. They have little lights on them. All right. Oh, nice. They don't have anything. Okay, well. We'll just wait till daytime then. It's coming along though. We're getting it. This sea will be a barren wasteland when I'm done with it. The void of all life. The world will end as we know it. Volcano snail. Volcano snail. That was one of them, I think. Unless I just needed two of that same one. I might have just needed two of the same one. No, I didn't. This is the other one for sure. This is such an awkward thing to try to work with. Um, let's just put him back. And let's go get this real fast. Okay, take that. Oh yeah, the research part. I don't know about the wood though, but. All right, let's just sell everything. How much are they worth? This is worth 100, worth 50, that's worth 30. Yeah, using the tra crab traps are, is at, at the volcano place is much more worth it. Uh, how much money do I have? 1,800. Real fast, I just want to know what those crabs were worth. Oh, wow. This one can... Okay, that one is super worth it for this particular area. Just because these guys can double fit inside of one. That's actually huge. Oh, my God. Here we go again. I don't think I can fit another. Wow, that is... That's... How much are those worth? I think they're worth 50. Okay, crab traps are maybe a little bit more worth than I thought they were. They're worth 70. Oh my goodness. I guess the only issue, that the, the issue is though that bringing them back and forth with their obnoxious size uh, is kind of an issue. All right, let me sell these and then see if she has any research parts for sale. Oh my god, some of them are worth a hundred. That's amazing. Okay, fishing in the, using crab pots at the volcano place is actually worth. Uh, she has nothing for me. I'll buy more gunpowder though. And then, I don't see anything new. And then, I did not mean to rest. Research, is there anything else I need? I mean, this rod would be nice. This engine would be nice. And now I'm very curious about more pots. All right, I think we're about done here. Something tells me that this place is already done. I wonder if that fishing ability I got works on debris like that. Only one way to find out. I'm gonna test it after this. All right, Fnatic, what is it? Uh, Relics say perhaps one such as this. He pulls an antique pocket watch from the side of his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it, I see. I found it during my ride of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped up my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time, as will you. When the ritual is prepared, it'll be yours to carry forth. Anything else? All right, well, let's do the ritual. They're all just fathomless flames, so. Middle. Right. All right. Fanatic awaits. What is it? Flames are lit. Ah, I can feel the chill of the deep touches now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers, or clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. 
I'm gonna say nothing. The wind picks up swirling sea spray as around the altar. A cold blue fr flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Say nothing. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pulls around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps into, into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. Inspect. Here's the relic. All right. Yep. Never going to tell anybody this ever happened. We just found it, guys. Do not tell anyone that, 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 that there was never a fanatic. What fanatic? What are you guys talking about? You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Claw can spinning wildly below the cracked face. Yeah, there was there was a fanatic. I never met the guy. That's that's odd. Okay. No victims could be found. All right. Well, not banished. Well, there goes my banished cooldown. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. You climb the broken steps of the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Uh, I'm just going to give it to him. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. It wa its once frozen hands are now inexplic inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forward. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Know what? I'll be, it will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. I'm ready. You are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onward. Do you wish to continue? Yes. One more time. Your progress will not be saved from this point onward. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. So we leave at midnight exactly? No, we leave at 1 in the morning. Now our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Morrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. He's aboard my vessel. All right, so we're supposed to just go out into the wild blue yonder. All right. I can do that. I almost immediately hit something. What if I just hit that and just... Oh, he's not cargo. Okay. I was going to say, what if I hit it and he just like gets thrown all overboard? And then that's just the end of him and of the relics. He takes them all with him. And that's like the bad ending. All righty. Yep, this is it. Man, there's a lot of places I never went to. I'm excited. I'm so excited. What could this possibly be? How could this game possibly end? This is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. He opens a book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time, he throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more, he throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens, he slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the wary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. I got an achievement called Unshackled. What is this? Okay. She seems rather large. Is that woman like nine feet tall? Oh, what the hell? I didn't even notice that totals now. We saw there's like a giant tornado tendril growing in the, the foreground background. Okay, I was an abrupt ending. Four people, was it six people that made the game or something? I'm curious how many people were involved. Wait, they were voice actors? Did I have it turned off? Because nobody ever said anything. Yeah, that's a very small team if playtesters are all they got down here. Lilla Gibbons, Lara de Gabriela, Rue I, Re, Surrender, Theater. Special thanks to these guys. Spyro. 
Epiphany Games. Is Epiphany Games like their publisher or is it them? Programmer, maybe it's them. Development of Conservation. New Zealand Bird Songs and Calls. New Zealand Trade and Enterprise. Team 17. Head of Studios, Roger Carpenter. Production. Dave Wood, Mike Delves. Mike, uh, two Mikes. Mike Hawkard. John Cartwright, Louis Reeve. Ben Burdenet. Okay. Uh, this is pretty fun. This is a pretty fun game. Like, I don't know. I think it was, it was worth, what did I pay? $25? I would say it was worth $25. Like, it's tempting to play it a second time even. But with my job, I may not have time. If I do a second time, it's gotta be like a speed run. And then I just do like a full walkthrough with no commentary video that I don't even alert people to or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Uh, this has been a dredge walkthrough. We'll see if there's anything after the credits, but while I'm waiting, I might as well rant a little bit. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the walkthrough, though, just go in the description of this video. There's links to my socials. There's Twitter. There's Discord. Discord's my favorite. Um, and there's also a Twitch that I don't use very often, but it's there. And uh, yeah, if you want to follow me any of those ways, do that. Uh, if you want to support the channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe right here on this video. And uh, you feel free to go watch another video. You know, that'll also boost the algorithm. Just you know, bounce around on my YouTube watching things. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm planning on doing more walkthroughs in the future of other games. Um, since this one actually got decent reception as far as number of views. Like, I, cause I've, already, I've already had like the other parts out while I'm doing this last part, recording this last part. And they're not crazy. They're not doing crazy, but they're getting views. So, you know, maybe I'll do, I'll do more. I think I was going to do Resident Evil next. And then maybe, if nothing comes out, maybe RimWorld and then um, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And then Tears of the Kingdom. And then, I don't know after that. But, yeah, it was fun. I had fun. That was really fun. I think the artwork was really good. I think that... Oh, I just realized... <laughs> Dude, I, I, I don't have time for it, but I want to beat the game again. Just because you see all my crab traps... I could just troll here and just put down like a, an armada of crab traps just to make the ending look different. Also, just realized that in the ending, uh, that starting town gets destroyed. I wonder if I can change the out the ending based on my decisions. But anyway, yeah, the art was really good. The progression was really good. The fishing was fun and and like it was just involved enough, but not too involved to be annoying. And then, um, just like the upgrading the ship was a fun. Um, experience. I really enjoyed getting parts and trying to upgrade the ship. I got obsessed with it until my ship was fully upgraded. I was just, I was sad when my ship was fully upgraded because I was having so much fun getting money to upgrade the ship. And it was sad that after upgrading the ship, I really didn't need money anymore because for me, I'm just like an economy addict in video games. I just love getting money and then spending it in a video game. And so that was, that was really fun. They did a really good job. It felt really good. Um, I think probably the best part of this game though, overall was the the art style and art direction even the fish matched everything everything matched in the style that was very it was just very fun feeling it just had a very fun style it was a little dark but also a little cartoony and cartoonish and childish at the same time uh it was just a really nice nice combination of art and there's also another thing that's really good about this game was all the uh secrets so i didn't uh I didn't do much of the side stuff after the first little bit because I got to a point where it's like I actually made the biggest reason why I rushed to the end was because I realized I, there's so many other things I need to do on this YouTube and I don't have time to g spend a good like 15 hours and make like walk through all the way to part 40. You know what I mean? So I figured I better just end it reasonably fast here and then move on to the next game. Um, but there was a ton more stuff that I could have found. There were so many islands I didn't explore, so many requests I didn't do and not that any of them really matter. I mean, it's a kind of a sandbox game, but it would it actually would have been kind of fun to go out and uh, go explore all those islands and do all the other quests and 100% of the game. Could have actually been fun. I think the one part that wouldn't have been fun, though, is if I actually tried to catch every single fish. That could get uh, tedious and annoying after a certain point. I could see where that would just be annoying. Um, but getting, like, 80% of the fish, that would be fun. That, that'd be fun. Just going around, just catch, like catching each type. And then once you get down to where there's like the five or seven fish that you don't know where they are, you just call it a day. You're like, all right, that's good. I'm done. You know, man, they, they put this game in so many languages. They put like one thing they did crazy with this game. 
it was on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S. It was on the Switch. It was on GOG. It was on Steam. It was in look all these languages. It was in like they actually the biggest thing that like I don't know. It's an interesting game where they had a smaller game to make, but then they spent a lot more time on making it available to everybody and accessible to everybody. All right, so then it just kicks you out um, to the main menu. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Again, don't forget to sub, follow, follow me on Discord and things. Links in the description. Uh, but this has been a walkthrough of Dredge. I'd give this game like a solid 8 or 9 out of 10. That was really, really fun. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm going to miss playing this. But uh, yeah, hope you guys had fun. This has been my Dredge walkthrough. Hey guys, I'm Kibbles, by the way. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content like this. Also, feel free to check out either the videos right here on your screen or over here on your screen for more content like this. Helps me on the algorithms. You go and watch another video, do anything, whatever it helps. Also, down in the description below, you can find my links for socials, Discord, Twitter, etc. Or Twitch, we don't use very much. So feel free to follow me on any of those. It would help me out a lot.